Defender. The public defender is a public servant employed by the community and responsible for giving legal aid without cost to any person who seeks it and is financially unable to employ private counsel. It is his duty to defend those accused of crime until they are proved guilty by law. This case involved one of my most promising deputies and the great personal problem he had to face in the course of his duty. Why don't you reconsider, Chris? Come into my business with me. And I'll even change the name of the firm, Pierce and Holt. Pierce and Holt? You see, Chris, my business has been growing so fast, I can't tell you what a relief it would be to have a good lawyer as a partner. Not a good lawyer, Dad. The best. I appreciate your offer, Ben, but like I said before, I like what I'm doing. Oh, Chris. Help me, Father. Help me convince him that... You're a married woman now, Phyllis, and it's up to you and Chris to solve your own problems. We'll work it out. Somehow. I hope so. In any event, my offer still goes. I shall be in town for a couple of weeks. Perhaps we can talk about this again. Can I give you a ride to your hotel? Oh, no, thanks, Chris. I'll, I'll grab a cab. See you tomorrow, baby. Thanks, Chris. Good night. Good night, Ben. Now, honey, listen. I don't want to listen. You're a stubborn, pig-headed man who has to have everything his own way. But, Phyllis, it's just... All right. But one of these days, you're going to have it all your own way. By yourself. Chris Holt and his wife were fast approaching the crossroads in their marriage. And that very night, a chain of events began which would affect their lives very deeply. Mom! I'm home. Hi, Mom. What's for dinner? What's wrong? Your father's back. They let him out a couple of weeks ago. He didn't even let us know. Is he all right? Take a look for yourself, Billy boy. You must have grown two feet while I was away. It's six years. You haven't changed much. Just smarter, son. Put her there. Mm, he's got a grip like a ox. I'm going to show you how to use those muscles. I got plans for us. Pete. Come on, let's take a ride in my car. How'd you get a car? Bought it, of course. Come on, let's take a spin. Where'd you get the money to buy a car? Found it under a rock. <laughs> Dad, give Mom a break. You're a two-time loser. If you get caught again, they'll lock you up for keeps. It'll kill Mom. Don't worry about me, Billy boy. I've learned a thing or two. Come on, let's go for that ride. In another part of the city, it was near closing time for old Papa Hart. Just like you. This is a boy who used to come here every day. Christopher Hoon. He studied hard made his way through law school, and now he is deputy public defender. I told him exactly what I am telling you. No matter what you want to do when you grow up, you have to make your mind to obey. Look, everything you see up here. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's late, Joey. Uh, take your jelly beans. I go home. Tomorrow is another day. Why, just one more memory game with me, Papa. Please? All right. One more and then off you go. Ready? 82-411. Right. <laughs> Just like your father used to be. Quick, quick. I bet you if my father had come home from the war, he'd have been the best lawyer in the whole world. Maybe that's what you will be, Julie, huh? Maybe, but not as good as my father. Night, Papa. Night, Joey.
What happened that night in Papa Hart's candy store was not to be known for some time. Not until Chris Holt had pieced the puzzle together the hard way. I'm sorry. I must have been a very spoiled child. You still are. I can't stand it when you're angry with me. I'm not angry. I don't mean to be one of those ambitious wives, but... How about the music? It's just a... Uh-uh. Just music. Heart, affectionately known as Papa to hundreds of kids, lies hovering between life and death. The victim of a brutal beating by a vagrant hitchhiker captured at the scene of the crime and identified by the police as Billy Jones. The court referred the case of Billy Jones to the public defender's office. Billy Jones, 17 years old. The charge, robbery and assault with a deadly weapon. No witnesses and the boy says that he's innocent. It's all yours, Chris. Something wrong? I've just come from the hospital. I've known Papa Hart all my life. How is he? Still unconscious. Spent a lot of time in that candy shop when I was a kid. He should have been a teacher, Papa Hart. Now I'm going to defend the man accused of possibly beating him to death. Accused of, but not proven guilty. Bart, I've never had a case like this where I knew the victim. Do I have to take this one? They come that way sometimes. Now, I'm busy in trial, and you're the only man available. I want you to take it, Chris, but I want you to remember that any bit of evidence can make the difference between winning or losing a case. Something bothering you, Chris. I... I just have a lot on my mind. And if Billy Jones is innocent, what do you think is on his mind? Good luck. The evidence collected by the police definitely places you at the scene of the crime. I didn't do it. Then who did? Are you trying to protect someone? I'm not trying to do anything. Where did you come from, Billy? Out of town. And where were you going? Out of town. That's just what I've been telling the police for the last 24 hours. The police claim they have an airtight case. Do you want to plead guilty? I'm not guilty. Can't you understand? If I'm going to help you, I have to know the truth. I've, I've told it over and over again. When I went into the store, the old man had already been attacked. He was lying on the floor, bleeding and unconscious. I went to the front door to call for help. And the next thing I knew, cop had me handcuffed. You're sure that's the whole story, Billy? The whole story. You still going to try and help me? Sure, Billy. We'll enter a plea of not guilty. Jones, convicted. Some crackpot. Crackpot, huh? Don't you know what the public is saying about you? That it's a crime to spend the state's money on this case. The boy is entitled to a fair trial and to a lawyer to defend him. And who defended Papa Hart when Billy Jones attacked him? He claims he's innocent. And you believe him? Well, a whole neighborhood thinks you're crazy. Well, I walk down the street and people just look at me. Well, can't you see what's happening, Chris? You haven't a chance. Let's get out of here. We can go away with Father and... A man is innocent until he's... He's proven guilty, I know. I know. You know, when we were first married, I kept saying to myself, someday Chris is going to wake up. Someday he's going to stop trying to be a do-gooder and think about his wife and himself. Phyllis, how can I make you understand? You can't. Look at you. You're exhausted. And an hour late for our dinner with Father. 
I wanted to come home earlier, but I've been running all over town. You've got to understand, a boy's life is at stake. Father's waiting, Chris. I can't go out to dinner tonight. Chris, I mean it. Either you give this case up or... Chris, is being a public defender worth all this? Phyllis talking about a divorce, your neighbors up in arms. Our neighbors will get over it. But what about Phyllis? When Mother Pierce was alive, did she tell you how to live your life then? No. She tried. Did she succeed? No, Chris, I made my own decisions. Well, if it isn't the public defender himself. Speak of the devil. Hello, Ed, Janie. Ed, I'm going to tell him exactly what I think. I think you're a disgrace to the legal profession. Look, Ed, Janie, I... Don't you, Ed and Janie, us. A young thug beats a poor old man half to death. The police catch him, and, and you appoint yourself a committee of one to turn him loose. You tell him, baby. Poor Phyllis. No wonder she hates your job. By the time you finish, she'll end up hating you, too. Come on, let's have some fun. Let's go beat somebody up. Good old Chris Hoad will always get us off. Friends of yours? They were. I'm sorry, Chris. Forget it. I guess it's best to know where you stand. Is there anything you want me to say to Phyllis? Just this. I love her. Stone walls every place I go. Police file, hall of records, newspapers. Not one shred of information about Billy Jones. And he keeps repeating the same story. Maybe it's the only story he has to tell. What's your hunch? I'm positive he's not in this alone. But who is he protecting? I don't know. But if this keeps up, I'll need protection. <laughs> we haven't lost a public defender yet. Always the first time. Margo, what's the matter with everybody? Don't they realize I, I'm just trying to do a job? That isn't the point. What is? Believing that what you're doing is right. Bart, I... Phyllis still living with her father? What are you going to do about that? I want her back, Bart. More than anything in the world. More than you want to prove Billy Jones innocent? Bart, I... I have a life to lead, too. Isn't mine as important as Billy Jones? Trying to tell me that you want to quit, Chris? No. No, just compromise, huh? Look, Chris. Don't you think I know what you're going through? In my first two years here, I wanted to resign at least seven times. Till I found that it was easier to live with a problem than it was to run away from it. Now, if you don't face this one, how do you think Billy Jones is going to feel? Especially if he's telling the truth. I'm getting a court order to have Billy Jones taken out to the scene of the incident. But Chris made a first stop at the hospital. He had just received news that Papa Hart had regained consciousness. Papa. The doctors made me promise not to have you talk any more than necessary. All I want you to do is look at someone and answer one question. Do you understand? My glasses. I broke my glasses. I've had them fixed. Papa. Is this the man who attacks him? No. You're sure, Papa? Who is the man? Taller. Thanks, Papa. Get well quick, my friend. Funny, huh? 
how small a place looks when you've been away from it a long time? Jawbreakers. What did you bring me back here for? You heard Mr. Hart. He said I wasn't the one who hit him. What more do you want? I don't know. I just thought you might remember something. Well, there's nothing to remember. Nothing. Nothing. Just let me get out of here. All right, officer. Take him back. Hello. I thought Papa Hart was back. Well, not for a while. He was hurt pretty badly. That's the guy who beat him up. I saw his picture in the paper. Are you one of Papa's boys? So am I. And what are you taking his side for? Well, I'm his lawyer. I used to come in here every day. Do you? Did you ever see Billy Jones around here? Was he ever in the store? No. What's your name, son? Adam. Joy Adam. Ted Adams' son? I... I knew your father. Joey, did you see Papa Hart the day he was hurt? What do you want to know for? Did you can get that Billy Jones off? If I can prove he didn't do it, yes. How late were you in the store that night? Until Papa closed. Was there a car outside? I won't help you get that Billy Jones off. I won't. I won't. <laughs> I did see a car. What kind? A two-door black hardtop. And the license number was X244041. Joy, what do you want to be when you grow up? A lawyer. All right, boy. Papa would buy us both a soda on that. A big one. Because an old man played a memory game with a little boy, Chris Holt found his first tangible clue. The license bureau quickly supplied the name and address of the car's owner, Peter Roberts, 411 Maywell Street. This is Roberts. Billy is your son, isn't he? I can't understand you. Surely you know that Billy is in jail. And yet you, his own mother, didn't care enough about him to make an appearance on his behalf. Well, I... Has he been a bad son? No. Is Pete Roberts your husband? Yes. Where is he? I don't know. Where is the car? How did that happen? Forgive me for probing, Mrs. Roberts. I'm only trying to help Billy. What's going to happen to him? Unless I can prove he's innocent, you'll get the maximum penalty. And if... Mr. Hart, the victim dies. Oh, oh, no, no. Billy's such a good boy. He's always worked hard. Help support me. Do you think he's guilty? Never. Never in a million years. Yet you haven't even been to see him. Why? <laughs> Mrs. Roberts, if you don't want to see Billy's life ruined, don't you hold back. Tell me the truth. I guess that's what I've always done. Held back. Not faced the truth. The other day when it happened, Billy's father came home after six years in the state penitentiary. Seems like all my life I've been waiting for Billy's father to come home. Praying he'd stop stealing, stop hurting people. I didn't care much anymore what he did to me. And I knew Billy was a good boy. I knew he'd never be able to reach him. And that's why I thought when this terrible thing happened, I thought, they can't do anything to Billy. They wouldn't. He's just a kid. Pete's his father. And if they arrest him again, oh. You love your husband so much, you're willing to sacrifice your own son? I don't care if I ever see my husband again. Where is he? 
He'll be home for dinner. That's all he ever comes home for, to eat and make more trouble. <laughs> Let me speak to John Arthur, Detective Division. John, this is Chris Holt, Public Defender's Office. Pick up a Pete Roberts, R-O-B-E-R-T-S, at 411 Maywell Street. He's the father of Billy Roberts, and the boy you're holding under the name of Billy Jones. <laughs> The defendant, William Roberts, is hereby completely exonerated from the crime of which he was accused. And the case is dismissed. At this time, the court would like to take judicial note of the efforts of one man, Deputy Public Defender Christopher Holt. His determination, his desire for justice, were in the highest traditions of the legal professions. Be it so noted. Court dismissed. Hello, Phyllis. Hi, Chris. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you, Ben? Oh, fine, Chris. I, I was just leaving. Please don't go, Father. I'm sure that you two have a lot to talk over alone. Stay just a little while. I don't know quite where to begin. Why bother? You're here, and that's enough for me. I'll get it. Hello? Yes, who's calling, please? Police headquarters. Here we go again. Hold speaking. When? Right. Right. Will do. Suppose that means you'll have to leave. Wild horses couldn't make me leave this house tonight. Oh, Chris. Papa Hart recovered. And Pete Roberts got the penalty prescribed by law. The case you have just seen was brought to a fair and just conclusion through the efforts of a public defender.